Hey, so I just want to show you guys this cool new WDT I made. It looks like this when it's fully assembled. Um, it, it uses, you know, the standard acupuncture needles that um, a lot of other WDTs are using now. This one here, um, what makes it interesting is that it comes in this business card sized uh, single print. So you can print it out and break apart these pieces, pieces and assemble it. So the reason I want to make this was, uh, you may have seen this WDT. It's actually been uh, another WDT, WDT that was designed actually by the Espresso Aficionados Discord community. And uh, I just popped on a thing of hers. So this one has seen a lot of popularity. I see a lot. I see it a lot on different um, YouTube channels, on Instagram. And um, because it was designed by the community and with the objective, main objective of being affordable, uh, we added a, a limited commercial license that allows sellers, independent sellers to produce and sell this thing for $10. Um, and that's, you know, that's pretty nice for the community. But what I've noticed is that the shipping costs on these $10 capped tools are, um, is actually quite high, right? So when I was producing these, it would cost me three to four dollars just in shipping cost. That's including the envelope and the postage, just to get this out there. Um, so to kind of overcome that, that's where this business card um, WDT comes in, and including the needles here, this plastic, the envelope, and the stamp. The total wholesale cost, like the cost of goods, is just one dollar. It's meant to be affordable. It's meant to be easily distributable, and that's why it's taken this form factor. Okay, so this initial WDT had a kind of uh, a couple of aspects. The biggest one was ease of use. It's really actually easy to install the needles into this. There's not much to do. Um, this one, on the other hand, because you know it's been optimized for distribution, it is a little bit more difficult to put together. And uh, later on in this video, I'll show you how to put it together. Um, okay, the other thing uh, this was designed for was, of course, to have. You know, the maximum distance at about 29 millimeters, that's half the size of a standard espresso basket. It's designed to have the center prong, and it's designed not to roll around on the counter. You put it down there and it stays there. So very similarly, this tool is, has a lot of those features. It's not quite as easy to install, but it does still have that center prong. The distance edge, uh, tip to tip is still about 29 millimeters. You put it down, it's not gonna roll around. This one, um, because the form factor is interesting, we can actually print a little uh, circle on top so you can hook it onto the machine. I haven't designed like a stand for this yet, but you know, you could think about putting it into a hook on a stand or you could put it onto a separate stand or, you know, what I really like to do is have a cup of rice and you can just stick this guy in there. And what's nice about this cup of rice is that it'll clean your needles as you put them in. Okay. So um, let me talk to you about the assembly here. The first thing I'll show you are these acupuncture needles. These are um, in total length, I'll show you this needle here. The total length is needle end to end from the tip of the handle to the tip of the needle is 10 and a half centimeters. The length of the handle is three centimeters. The length of the needle is uh, 75 millimeters or 7.5 centimeters. So this is the longest needle that you can get on AliExpress. Um, Potentially, you know, maybe designing something like this with shorter needles would be nicer because you could, you know, have the same kind of form factor here. But this one's a little longer. Um, so let me tell you a little secret. A lot of times you, you'll see on the internet lots of people who have built their own WTTs from the cork, you know, sticking this thing in the cork. They'll say, go on Amazon and buy some 3D printer needles. And they'll come in like a little vial like this. And, you know, these are actually 3D printer needles that I purchased quite some time ago. <laughs> if you look, these things are completely identical. This is the same exact needle. So these uh, printer cleaning, not 3D printer nozzle cleaning needles, you'll see selling for like eight or $10. This 10 pack costs like 20 cents, maybe less. I, I can't remember the exact number. I'll, I'll put it in the description. But you know, when you buy these needles, what you're paying for is repackaging just all this plastic additional it's already coming in plastic so they just put it in even more plastic and um uh just relabeling uh repurposing uh, acupuncture needles for 3d printer nozzle cleaning and then what you're also paying for of course is um shipping time so you can get these on amazon tomorrow whereas if you order these needles on aliexpress they'll come in a pack of 500 needles so you have a lot of these but they'll actually be around the same cost as these needles, you just have to wait a month. So uh, if you're planning ahead, if you have a lot of friends, something like that, 
You can buy these needles. They're a lot, lot cheaper. Um, and that's the big lie <laughs> that you are kind of circumventing when you buy something directly from the source as opposed to something that's been repackaged and resold just kind of, you know, by a middleman for, for uh, a markup. So that's the big secret with these needles. Okay, so I wanted to get that out of the way. Why don't we get into the actual in installation of these things? So what you would do with this kind of card is actually take some, you can like pull, pop them out and take some scissors and trim them off. I've already done that here. I have some pieces that I've already kind of cleaned up here. So um, first thing I would say to do is that uh, after this print comes out, first of all, these prints tolerances were tuned to my particular printer. So if you're printing this out and you're having some issues, probably send me a message. I might be able to make some um, different designs that have different tolerances here. So here I've, I've basically made this like uh, 0.1 millimeters bigger than this. So it should just kind of slide in. But initially when you get it, it may be a little stuck. And so just kind of push these in here just so that, you know, you kind of deburr the plastic from your printer and likewise here so just make sure that all of these things are sliding in um, nice nicely this one too right okay see the other thing is um, the way that this is designed the middle needle is assembled differently from the outer needles. So let's start with these needles. If you open a new pack of these needles, they are very sharp. These are acupuncture needles. So if I poke myself here, it will enter my skin. <laughs> because literally that's what they were designed to do. And that I really don't think is a good idea to just have kind of laying around on your kitchen counter when you're stumbling around in the morning trying to make a coffee. So what you really want to do is take these ultra sharp needles and dull them. Some people clip them with uh, pliers. I don't like that. It kind of creates a hook at the end of that. So what I have here is just a, this is a glass nail file. You could literally use anything that's harder than metal and rub it against it. I'm using glass nail file here. You could also use a piece of sandpaper. You can use a metal nail file, but just really hold all these needles together at the tip. Push them down against your rough surface. Run them back and forth a couple times. And now these needles are no longer deadly sharp. I can like bend them against my skin and I not have any sort of puncture. So it's still sharp because it's still very thin needle, but it's not gonna very easily pierce your skin. So that's the very first thing I do, I recommend to people. And I see people all the time on the internet with these deadly sharp needles on their WDT tools and that just freaks me out. Okay, so the second thing they do, I'm going to point out is that um, these things are actually directional. So it's maybe a little hard to see here, but this thing here has an arrow here and this one has an arrow here. The rough surface on these bottom two need to go up. These two, actually the orientation doesn't matter. So I like to have the flat smooth surface facing up as well. So you have smooth surfaces on both sides. Um, so what, what, I'll, what I'll do here is first take this um, frame piece and then put it inside this top piece. So this is the top piece. I'm gonna take the smooth side and put it facing up so that when you touch it, it just feels nicer. This top piece is not directional. So that's gonna slide all the way to the top. And then I wanna take this middle piece. You can tell it's a middle piece because it's got bigger holes here. And with this middle piece, what I recommend you actually do, just like the tolerances for the, the frame meeting the, um, the circle pieces, just take a needle handle and go around and make sure that all of these holes are cleared. Just so when you go to install it, it'll be a little bit easier. You wanna make sure that all these needles can go through. Okay, so this piece, like that other piece, uh, this top two pieces are not directional. It does not actually matter which direction you put this particular piece in because you're not even gonna notice it. Okay, so now these two pieces are in place. I'll go ahead and grab this other frame piece, the one with the circle on top, and just push it through here. Push it all the way through so that it seats properly and pull these back in like this. So now you've assembled the two frame pieces, the two top circles, 
And if you want to have a middle needle, this is when you have to install that middle needle. So you just pop it into the middle here, make sure it goes into that middle hole, and all the way down to the bottom so you can see this handle seating at the bottom of that top piece there. Okay. Then you want to grab the center piece, uh, the second bottom piece. And you can tell it's the second to the bottom because it's got you know, smaller rectangles and larger rectangles, and those line up with this frame here. One, one is a little bit longer and one is a little bit shorter. So you want the longer pieces here to line up with these bigger holes here. And this piece is actually directional. You want the rough side up, right? So there's an arrow. If you look carefully here, right, right there, uh, right there where my needle is pointing, there's an arrow. And basically the rough side here is, this, is the side you want facing up. And so up in this case means towards the, uh, the circle. So grab this piece, get the rough side facing towards the circle, this rough side facing towards the circle, and just thread it through the center hole, right? And now these big rectangles on this longer frame piece, I wanna push these in together so you can see here. You know, it's a lot more difficult doing this sort of thing on camera. Okay, so that's that. And then finally, this octagonal piece, this piece is also directional. Again, rough side facing towards the circle. Same thing here. Get this through that center hole. And this piece, it doesn't matter how you orient it, you just want to get it, these um, plastic pieces through these holes. seats like that. Okay, so now your ne middle needle is installed and your handle is installed. So the next thing you want to do is install the needles along the side. So there are some larger holes, I'll show you here. There are larger holes and there are smaller holes. So this middle piece here has larger holes. So what you want to do here is take this needle, put it through one of these larger holes, and then grab a pair of tweezers because this is <laughs> something that's lost when you uh, optimize. You, when, when, whenever you optimize anything, you have to uh, make concessions for that optimization. And in this case, the concession is ease of installation. So you want to grab some tweezers and just push it through these holes in these smaller frame pieces. If you are very dex dexterous, you might be able to do this by hand, but I needed tweezers because I'm a big loaf. Okay, so um, do that seven more times and then you'll have this, All right? All right, so once you're done with this, um, you can just use it like this or uh, what you can do is take some tape. I have here some electrical tape, some cloth tape, so if you just take some tape, you can wrap it around this handle. Um, we can do that now and try to make it look a little nice. So let's grab some of this electrical tape. And just starting at the top here, gonna wrap it. So this one's looking a little janky, but you know, now it's nice and everything is secure. You have this nice WPT here that you can uh, use for your espresso. So like this other one, you know, again, it's, it's not gonna roll away on you. It's gonna stick. And um, you know, if you, if you rather like the kind of bare bones skeletal look, you know, I actually really <laughs> prefer this look, even though it's kind of a little bit more wobbly. You can use it like that too. All right, so that's this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back later with some more cool things.